What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've never been here, thanks for popping in to check this one out. Uh, pretty quick video today, guys. I am just going to show you how to reset your Windows Defender firewall to defaults. And some would ask, well, why would we want to do that? Well, there's a couple reasons. Uh, one of the most primary, and I've done this myself, where I've gone into my firewall here and set different rules for different things. And then at some point that doesn't apply anymore. And so, you know, say for instance, I had a lot in here. I don't really have anything in here that I have manually configured anymore because I have reset it. Um, but you know, if you have 10, 12 or more entries in here, instead of just going through and like removing one or, you know, whatever the case is, this is a way to just completely reset it back to uh, what I call factory defaults, um, but it's just basically defaults of Windows Firewall. Uh, so a couple ways to do this, actually. I'll go through two or three of them here. Let's go ahead and close our firewall. And the first one, what you do is you go to your search bar down here, and we're going to run wf.msc. And this is simply just the command to bring up your uh, firewall configuration. I need to not hit an extra key there okay and so this is basically what we just saw prior to uh, me closing it opening it back up i just wanted to show you how to open that spot up so once you run the wf.msc in the command line and open this up if you look over here to the right you see a restore default policy so let's go ahead and click that and this will give you the warning here that this may cause some problems to or some programs to stop working um, and that's only if you have certain programs configured to, you know, work with the network for your inbound or outbound rules and stuff like that. Um, so once you are sure that you want to reset Windows Firewall, the defaults, we're just going to simply click yes. And you will get the message there saying that the policy was restored successfully. And it's really as easy as that. Now, I will go through another way as well. Um, if we go to search here and we do a search for Windows Defender Firewall and that's going to come right up there. Let's go ahead and open that up. Now this is going to look a little bit different. Um, it takes you to a whole different place, but you still have an option to restore your defaults right over here on the left. So after typing the or searching the Windows Defender Firewall down here and getting this over to the left, you've got restore defaults. Let's go ahead and click on that, and then we will click Restore Defaults. And pretty similar to the last message, it's uh, just telling you the same thing about, you know, what the effects of that could be. So just make sure that you are aware of what the effects are going to be. And once you're sure, just go ahead and click Yes. And so we have cleared that out. Now, third way is for those of you who love the command line, like I do in Windows, so we just go here. CMD and we're going to right click and we're going to run this as administrator uh, like I have suggested in several videos always run command line or command prompt command line as administrator because uh, sometimes things come up that won't allow you to make any changes without you being in admin mode so we've got the screen up here and you can do this from literally any file path uh, but once you're here we're going to type net sh space and then we're going to do adv firewall and then type reset so again net sh adv firewall reset once you have that command in there you're going to simply hit enter and that is all it's going to tell you is okay command pump's pretty simple and uh it's a uh one word response type of guy so anyway so that has also reset the firewall but anyway, guys, that is it. That is all I wanted to show you. And um, if it ever becomes important for you to reset your Windows Defender to default, that's just a few ways on how to do that. If this helped you out at all, guys, click that like button for me. And if you want to see future content, uh, click that subscribe button. It definitely helps me out. Thanks, guys.